Hi there, so we welcome you to the second video on this modeling series as promised. In the first video, we discussed about a lot of important factors. So if you haven't watched it already, I would strongly advise and recommend to watch that video in order for this video to make a lot more sense to you. So in that video, we discussed what is modeling, why modeling, how important it is and all of that. So I'm not going to go into much depth once again, in short, Modeling is a bridge that can help you move to where you want much, much faster. It makes the whole process quite easier. And modeling is simply like acting. You select someone as your speech model. You really like and admire the way they speak and you want to speak like them. So you keep practicing speaking like them. You keep doing the practice when you're by yourself. And then when you go out there to speak, you believe that you are your speech model right now and you ask yourself if my model was here how would he act how would he speak how would he feel and you start to act speak and feel that way as if your model is in your shoes so it helps you to get out of yourself forget all of your unsuccessful speaking experiences and all and get into the speaking identity of your model it works like magic and it really takes your game towards the next level so before we move on, anyone who does not know me, my name is Farooq, I am from Pakistan and I'm actually serving as a certified Pro 90D speech coach, coaching people all around the world who struggle with their speech in any way. So if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one help, I've shared down some links in the description and for this week, we are offering some really, really exciting discounts. So. It would be a great opportunity for you to get the coaching at minimum pricing, at special pricing, and this one-on-one -on -one coaching can really help you accelerate your progress to smooth speech. So you have all the links. You have the link to schedule a free one-on-one -on -one assessment session with me as well. If you would like to know more about the coaching before we start, and you also have my email address, you can leave me a mail right there asking me any questions or anything about the coaching. All right, so let's speak about how to act, speak and feel like your model while you go out to speak. But before this, while you go out to speak, it's really important to be doing all of the practices and everything when you're by yourself. Believe me, if you're not doing the practices when you're by yourself, it wouldn't work when you go out to speak. So first, the first point is to keep doing the practice. And this practice can consist of both. It should consist of both. In fact, it must consist of both. First, you select a short video of them. It can be very short, like half a minute or something. You watch their video over and over again. You observe your model speaking and then you practice speaking like them in that exact same way. See, where are they extending? Where are they blending? Where are they going loud? Not loud actually, where are they going higher? Where are they going lower? Where their pitch is higher? Where their pitch is lower? So you practice speaking like them. You try to mimic them. Not necessarily their voice, but their speaking rhythm, their flow. What is their flow? Where are they going slow? Where are they going a little fast? Where are they extending? Where are they blending? Where are they inflecting? Where are they pausing? So you try to match every single thing. You keep watching their video you look out for every information how are they speaking how are they speaking and then you practice speaking like them and while you do that if you also record a video of yourself it would be really helpful because you can match the videos and you can see if those videos are similar then that's great if they are not similar you try to match them as close as you can okay maybe on this word right here he extended out more so let me extend out a little more or let me do this a little more so you have to master the aspect of speaking like your model and to make the videos as similar as you can. Not only this, then try to match their body language. How are they using their hands? Where are they using their hands? How are they using their facial expressions? How they are using their hand gestures, body movements, their facial expressions, their eyebrows. So you try to look out for everything and then when you're recording yourself, you try to match that as close as you can. What can I do to match it even more? 
you try to make it as similar as you can as similar as you can as similar as you can then you try to feel like your model when you're working on modeling by yourself so you try to feel like your model how would my model be feeling right now you have to ask these questions to yourself over and over again if i wasn't here my model was here how would he feel would he feel anxious would he feel like oh i hope i don't get stuck and all or would he be very cool calm and relaxed and easy even if you do get stuck you ask yourself how would my model respond if he got stuck would that start making him anxious would it start to make his speech sound less smooth and would he start speaking fast or would he just look at it like a bump in the road like i discussed in one of my previous videos and then he would just keep moving on like it wouldn't matter to him so how would my model speak how would my model act how would my model feel so you try to feel as much like your model as you can for some people they might not reach to a place where they feel 100% like their model but try to make it as much as you can like if even if you're feeling 50% like your model that's good but try to increase it 60% 70% 80% ask yourself what can i do to feel as much as like my model as i can feel more and more like my model as i can all right now you can do these practices for example if you have a model in english you have your model as michael for english and then you keep doing this practice now you can also model him for another language like i discussed in my previous video for the language of urdu as well i modeled mike so i used to translate that small video in urdu and then i used to practice speaking like michael i used to try to match his speaking rhythm his speaking flow and everything the language was in the same but i used to try to match his rhythm anyways and then extend out where he extended then pause where he paused so i tried to do all of that and it just worked for me i kept doing it over and over again in the language of english and in my language as well now it works in your language like even if you model someone for your own language it works but if you are finding it hard then you can also select a model in your own language as well right so you can do that now many of my clients who speak urdu and hindi they also have the option of choosing me as a speech model because they have someone as a speaker in their language whom they can model just keep in mind that model shouldn't be a fast speaker shouldn't be someone who is all over the place because right now it wouldn't be helpful for you so this is something that you have to keep in mind so you can you have to practice modeling like that then you have to also practice modeling on your own content you select your own content okay i'm going to speak about how my day went and i'm going to speak as if i'm my model right now if my speech model was here right now how would he speak now once again you can do that for english as well and for any other language as well but try to speak like your model try to think if my model would speak how would he speak if my model was here right now how would he be speaking how would he be acting how would he be feeling so i did that for english as well and i did that for urdu as well it's not necessarily easy at the start but the more and more you do it it gets a lot easier and it it is a lot of fun so this is all of the practice that you do by yourself then the most important thing you have to go out and practice in real life situations now there are some real life situations where you have to necessarily be a part of because if someone comes up to speak to you you have to speak with them and you have to practice modeling there as well but you also have to create speaking opportunities for yourself you say that okay you go out for example you go out in a supermarket and you say that okay i'm going up to her i'm going up to speak to her or i'm going up to speak to him and while i speak to him or her i'm going to practice modeling now that is something that you don't necessarily have to speak to him or her but you're just going out there and just speaking for the reason of practicing more for example you say that i'm going to speak to him about what stuff is right here in the supermarket so i used to make random phone calls to my friends now they used to think i'm making a phone call to speak with them but i was actually making phone calls to practice my speech practice modeling with them so just create real life speaking situations with your family with your friends and you go out to speak so create more and more speaking opportunities and practice modeling there then 
there are those speaking opportunities where you necessarily have to be a part of because obviously you have to speak all day long. So you remind yourself each time I'm going to speak, I'm going to practice modeling or I'm going to speak like my model, feel like my model, act like my model. So each time you open your mouth to speak is an opportunity for you to practice your speech. So you have to do it in both the speaking situations where you have to be a part of, but you also have to create extra speaking opportunities for yourself so you can go out there and practice your speech. And then you keep asking yourself while you're speaking, how would my model speak right now? How would my model act right now? How would my model feel right now? So you have to keep doing that. You have to keep doing that. You have to keep doing that over and over again. And guess what? It's shifting your mindset away from, I hope I don't get stuck. I have to say this word. I have to say that word because now your focus is being shifted towards your model. And that takes the whole game to another level. All right. So that's all that I wanted to discuss in this video. And we would have some more videos where I'm going to explain a bit more in depth about modeling and we are going to discuss some more aspects in I would try to create at least one or two more videos to have you have a great know-how of modeling all right so this is what I wanted to share so keep sharing liking and subscribing to the channel so that these videos can reach out to more and more of those people who are in real need so these videos can be really really helpful but if you want to accelerate your progress to smooth speech one-on-one -on -one coaching is the best option so if you're looking to work one-on-one -on -one with me as i said i've shared some links and this week for this week we are offering some special discounts that you can see in the description now these prices would go higher in the upcoming weeks so if you're looking to get one-on-one -on -one help now is the best time with the coaching you would get more encouragement more accountability more feedback more evaluation and it can accelerate your progress by at least 10 times that is a major major advantage to it so i'll see you in the next video take good care of yourselves and may you be blessed thank you